Hey, what's going on guys? It's that time again to check out some more updates and progress on the attachment pack. The focus for the past couple of weeks has been on the laser rifle, so that's going to be a majority of what we're showing off today. And boy, the laser rifle is near complete. I'm only one or two attachments off. There's a couple things I need to get worked out because they're a little bit interesting and they're going to change the way the weapon functions overall. But everything else that I've done so far will be showcased today. You'll see some footage playing in the background of some of the cool combinations you can make, as well as some combat to show off some of the new stuff in action. But also, we'll be doing a full breakdown of every single thing later on in the video, where Pig will be joining for some colored commentary. But that's not all that we're showcasing today. We're also going to show a sneak peek of some of the upcoming stuff coming with the plasma rifle. We actually have some cool new attachments that will change the way it functions already in the game. And then from there, we'll be throwing in some new cosmetic options as well to showcase in the next update. This particular update showcase is really special to me because, first of all, it is entirely focused on energy weapons, which is very new for the attachment pack. We've been doing ballistic weapons for the most part, so having some real new design methodology is really interesting to tackle, but it's been a whole lot of fun and has definitely changed the way that I approach attachments in the future. Additionally, this was one of the hurdles I was really not looking forward to. I didn't think I was going to be able to do the attachments for the energy weapons very well, but thanks to help from a bunch of other mod authors like Mikolov, Alexerator, J. Cruz, Pig, and OCZ, Ophelia Neoma, all of these amazing talented authors, and even more that I didn't even mention, have been contributing, giving ideas, and allowing me to use assets, and that has been a huge help with the energy weapons, and knowing that I have a resource like that available to me in this wonderful community really, really makes the rest of this attachment pack not seem so daunting. Like I said, the energy weapons were a big hurdle I was not really looking forward to, but now that we're making good progress on them and I see the finish line in sight, it really makes the rest of the pack not look as scary. And so I think we're actually coming up onto a point where I could start estimating a completion date. We're not there quite yet. I still want to get through the laser rifle, the plasma rifle, and uh, after that, the institute laser rifle. But from there, it'll be a bit easier to narrow down the time because we don't have too many weapons left after that. I know you guys keep asking every video when this thing's going to come out and you're tired of seeing just regular little old updates, but we're getting there. It's coming up really, really soon. Obviously, we're not going to finish before 2022 is over, but I have a feeling this thing will get released sometime early next year. So stay tuned for that. It is coming out. Now then, there's a lot of cool stuff in this update, a little bit different from our typical format, so I want to go ahead and start off with some of the interesting new projectile options available for the energy weapons in Fallout 4. So before we break down every single attachment that I've added thus far, far, I want to show off some of the new barrels and muzzles available for the plasma rifle and laser rifle that actually change the way the weapon functions. So starting off here, we have the typical laser rifle, though it has an interesting new muzzle device that Pig has named the Magnetron. And this is going to actually change the laser projectile into, well, not a laser. As you can see, it's an individual bolt of energy, not exactly plasma per se. This is actually a projectile stolen from the Nuka World robots, which fire a projectile just like this. And I gotta say, this is pretty interesting. It packs a good bit of damage, but it's a bit slower than your typical laser. It's a lot of fun, and because it's a muzzle device, you can throw it on other barrels like automatic barrels, which make for a whole lot of fun. Now we have some other options as well. This one here, Pig has named the unstable magnetron device, but essentially what it is is a reconfigured assaultron laser. And you'll see, at first, it just seems like a pretty typical laser. If anything, it's just a bit bigger, but there's actually a really interesting effect with this. With one trigger pull, it actually leaves several projectiles. And you'll notice that they're delayed, so if you're not on target, you're not going to hit the same thing every time, but if you can stay on target, all of those projectiles are going to hit the same enemy and do a lot of damage, which is just cool. I really like firing this thing. This is also something that can be paired with an automatic barrel if you want to have a lot of fun with something that's uh, really inaccurate. And something interesting that I want to show off really quick is just how much force this projectile has because there are so many projectiles inside of it. Whenever you shoot something, it sends it to space. If I had a scope, you might be able to see it, but it, it's somewhere out there now. And then for the final projectile, this is something I came up with kind of uh, randomly. This is going to be a new Tesla projectile, which is going to allow you to shoot out a red electrical beam. And it looks super cool. Big thanks to the people over on my Discord for helping me figure out how to do the color change on projectiles. There is still one part I need to do that's 
almost barely noticeable, and that is a little bit of blue left over on the muzzle flash, but that's an easy fix, and it will be fixed by the time this thing goes into full release. Now, there are two other projectiles that we need to talk about that are actually added to the plasma rifle. This one isn't necessarily a new projectile, but rather a new barrel that's going to add a rotating Gatling barrel that allows you to spew plasma at an incredibly rapid pace. It may be hard to see in first person, but there is a rotating barrel on the end there. And this thing is a lot of fun. It's like a handheld plasma minigun. And I gotta say, it really, really makes this feel like a late game weapon. But if that wasn't powerful enough, how about a plasma grenade launcher? Let's back up a bit here. This one is a whole lot of fun. This thing does a ton of damage at the cost of ammo capacity. But boy, it sure is powerful. You can take out entire groups of raiders like it's nobody's business. And in some cases, with the right perks, attachments, and if the Deathclaw is low level enough, you can one-shot a Deathclaw. This thing is crazy. Alright, now it's time to show off all of the individual attachments that we've added thus far. And as promised, I am joined here with uh, with, with Pigman. Big guy. Hello. That's, that's him. Uh, so, for right now, there are no capacitors or receiver upgrades for the laser or plasma rifle, though we do have one planned, at least one mm -hmm. planned for the laser rifle. Do we have anything for the plasma? Not that I know of. Okay, it's nothing. Not on the spreadsheet, because you don't okay. ever update the spreadsheet. Yeah, I, this is why he wanted to be here, was to tease me. Uh, for barrels, though, we've got a lot of cool stuff. I don't remember what all was showcased last time, so we're just going to run through it all real briefly. We have the standard short barrel, which is vanilla. Then we added a heavy variant, the short heavy barrel, which adds the uh, the under bit from the long barrel. Mm -hmm. And then we also, we also have the inverse of that, where the long barrel is standard here from vanilla. We have the long light barrel that removes the under bit to give it more of the profile of the tri-beam laser rifle from, say, New Vegas. Now, moving on down, we have some more interesting stuff. We have the vanilla automatic and sniper, but we have variants of those as well that we've added like the accelerated automatic barrel. Instead of the three barrels that are typically on here, Pig has sourced the Gatling laser barrel, which actually has four, and I was not aware that that was actually a different asset, so yep. good uh, good job on that part. And this thing and is way lower damage and way higher fire rate, making this thing almost like an SMG, not quite in terms of yeah. visuals, but in terms of performance, you know, low damage, real high fire rate. And we also yeah. have the inverse of that, yeah, which is the super automatic barrel, which is the other Gatling laser barrel, which, again, wasn't aware that these are different assets, but these are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I'm actually curious if we could take one of these and make a single barrel version of it as, like, an improved super barrel. Uh, we'll see. Ooh, but uh, this one is high damage for the automatics, but low, low fire rate, as Pig puts it. It's an energy M60. Yeah. It goes ka-chunk, chunk ka -chunk -ka but uh, moving down, we also have the Marksman Rifle, which is going to be, in terms of performance, a superior version of the Sniper Barrel. It has a long, long barrel, but it looks more like the traditional square option. And there's also a heavy version of that that will put on some wood furniture, since everybody and their mother has been crying about it on the Discord, as well as in the YouTube comments, wood furniture on the Laser Rifle. And then we also have Pig's Own Creation, the gamma barrel which is a monstrosity to look at it's very cool but very that's the uh very... the centerpiece there is the merv yeah i figured that Before one out pretty quick that kind of it looks good though and it's going to allow you to throw in some gamma damage or radiation damage to your laser rifle which is not something you can do in the base game so it's cool to have that option at least and i think that's it for barrels i'm going to go ahead and equip the marksman barrel for uh some of the stock options that we can showcase as well so for the stocks, we have a whole lot of new stuff. There's obviously the standard grips that you're used to, but we also have now the heavy grip, which is going to be a wood grip option for those of you who like laser pistols. So you can combine these two for a cool little sidearm. Well, little's not right, quite the right yeah. word, but it looks super cool. I like this a lot. Throw a, throw a scope on this and it's a real cool looking sci-fi pistol. Well, it looks like something almost out of Star Wars. As for stocks, we have the vanilla short stock, the sharpshooter's grip, Full stock, yada yada. Then Pig's least favorite addition by me, which is the wire stock. It's so wide. It's absolutely awful, but hey, it's a pack. You're not going to like every single attachment. And if even just one person likes this stock, then it's worth having in here. And uh, it gives you some different options. It allows you to have some better recoil control versus with lighter weight, similar to one of the pistol grips. So 
it serves a purpose, even if it's not the prettiest thing in the world. We also have the marksman stock and the heavy stock, which is my way of doing a wood stock on this weapon. I tried over and over and over to model a wood stock that goes all the way across and would meet the grip here so you have a really cool set of wood furniture but the problem is if we were to do that all of the barrels have different attachment points so like right here the place that you hold these are different because they have different animation sets and so having a wood grip would actually like collide with all of these moving bits here and so there's just not a good way to do it so for now what we have is this here, the heavy stock, but if it's any horrendous. of you guys, yeah, it's it's not the best, but I, I think it looks cool with all the pieces together. Uh, if any of you guys in the comments think you can come up with a better design, feel free to hop on over to the Discord in the concept art area and uh, show me what you got. Maybe we could model something together as a little community and, and come up with something better than this. But for now, this is what we got. Uh, and then we also have the tactical stock, which is going to throw on that combat rifle style stock. Rather than choosing the lower mounted point, it's up higher. It actually ends up in about the same position on your shoulder as this one, but it wouldn't attach correctly if it was down here. It would look really, really funky. Uh, let's go ahead and throw on that heavy stock just so we have the full wood furniture for the rest of this stuff. It looks so cool. Uh, we showed this off last time, but in case you didn't see it, we have the enhanced targeting scope, which is the classic New Vegas style of a laser scope, which with this whole configuration is my favorite way to make the laser rifle right now with all of our parts. But uh, additionally, we had talked about it. I want to take this scope and also throw it on the Institute laser and we'll do a nice little retexture to make the yellow bits into red so it matches that. And I think that'll look yeah. pretty cool. And it'll especially fit with the boxy nature of the Institute weapons. As for the muzzles, this is where things get really interesting. We did our little showcase earlier of how all of them shoot, but we'll go ahead and show off everything because there's a couple others we didn't talk about. Here is the art converter. That is the Tesla projectile that we showed off with the cool red lightning. Pig's magical Mag magnetron. magnetron. No I'm idea what magnetron means, but I'm very happy with the design I came up with. It looks really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Even with the wood furniture, like this looks like a, a whole new weapon almost. Mm -hmm. We have the unstable magnetron, which is the assaultron laser, which was a lot of fun. And the tri-beam splitter, I think we showed that off last time. Yep. Classic tri-beam from New Vegas. And that, I believe, is it for all the new muzzle devices. But they all provide totally new ways to use the laser rifle, which is a whole they lot of really fun. fun. Yeah, that yeah, was definitely really the really most fun, fun part. Because it totally threw a, a wrench into the way this thing performs. Now, we do have a couple of things to show off with the plasma rifle. There were those new projectiles I showed off earlier, but also... We have some other fun stuff too. So we have all the regular barrels, but if we move down, you'll see the newly added assault barrel, which is going to bring back that classic style of plasma rifle barrel from Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, etc. This is a really, really nice asset donated by the wonderful Alexorator that we get to use in this pack. And then we also are going to have a multi-plast barrel. I have yet to model the adapter for that, but imagine two of these on top of each other, just like the classic multi-plast plasma rifle. And then we also have the Accelerated Automatic Barrel by Pig, the crazy hey. Gatling barrel, which is just a lot of fun on this thing. It shreds through enemies. When I was doing the combat footage for this thing, it is a monster. Really yeah. feels like a, a proper late game energy weapon. And then, of course, the Launcher Barrel, which is even more devastating than that. A grenade launcher on your plasma rifle, because eh, why not? It's fun. It is fun. Uh, as for the stocks, we don't have a ton right now, but we do have one thing that I threw together last night, which is the Eco stock, named after uh, some of the attachments featured in Alexorator's mods, because he did do a lot of the modeling for this. I had to remodel a couple of pieces that were giving me some issues with UVs, but for the most part, it's Alexorator's work, and then I did the textures for it, and I think they match pretty well. I really like the mm -hmm. final product with this thing. This almost looks like the classic plasma rifle. Almost. Close enough. Close enough. We'll also have a classic pistol grip, too. We don't have it yet, but uh, we'll probably borrow some assets from Alexorator for that as yeah. well that we can throw on. And so we'll have a classic style of plasma pistol, at least in terms of the grip. But obviously, this receiver is never going to look quite right. One thing I do want to add that I've been thinking of is some sort of a holographic style grenade launcher site for the grenade launcher. It won't make a ton of sense for the rest of the attachments, but pairing them together, I think, could be a, a lot of fun. 
And we don't have any other custom sights beyond that. That's actually everything we have to showcase for the plasma rifle. But you know that in the next update, we're going to have a lot more stuff for this thing to show you. And then also possibly one or two more things for the laser rifle. That special receiver and then uh, maybe a grip or two. So yeah, that's everything we've got so far. Some really fun and interesting stuff. The energy weapons have proved to be a whole lot of fun compared to ballistics because there's just so much you can do with projectiles and fun stuff. I know I'll have some really cool ideas for the Institute rifle to add some really fun blue projectiles that I'm very, very excited for. So yeah, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed these little sneak peeks. As always, if you do, don't forget to drop a rating. Consider subscribing if you haven't already for more videos just like this. That attachment pack is coming real soon, so stay tuned for more updates. I want to really start busting down on this and get you guys more content about it soon. As always, if you have any ideas, be sure to leave them down in the comments or head on over to the Discord to suggest them to me. I'm always happy for user feedback on some of the stuff that's already in there or any other ideas that you might have for cool attachments. With that, big shout out to all of my patrons for supporting every single video and of course all the mods I work on. And a very special thank you to Captain Chaos, Helljumper, Indecisive Wolf, Jackie Noid, John Moreland, Cushy, Logan Rigmaiden, Microhan, Moonlit Gamer, Officials Effectser, Feed, Timmy76, YouthRC, and Voider for joining that tier 3 Patreon membership. If you'd like to support the channel over on Patreon, you can do so using the link down in the description below, but it's completely optional. Thanks again for watching guys and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace!